Hi there, I'm Rob Schmidt, and this is Bias Bash. At an event in Florida on Saturday, President Trump made comments that some say implied that a terror attack had hit Sweden on Friday night. Take a listen. You look at what's happening in Germany. You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden. Who would believe this? Sweden. They took in large numbers. They're having problems like they never thought possible. All right, so the question now is, did the media's bias against Trump uh, in this situation lead them to jump to the worst possible interpretation of these remarks? Do they think that he thought there was a terrorist attack in Sweden when there wasn't one? That's the situation here. Here with her reaction is Bureau Chief of Talk Media News and Fox News contributor Ellen Ratner. Thanks so much for joining us today, Ellen. Well, thank you so much. Now, I, I have to be honest, I was in Africa when all this happened, and of course, I'm watching it on television because they get cable just like they get everywhere else, and they also get the, the main networks. And it did seem, the way it was reported, was that there had been a terrorist attack and that Donald Trump got it wrong. Listen, I am a liberal Democrat. I'm not a Trump person. But you've got to tell the news as it is, and the press has not done this this time. What they did is they led everybody to believe that Mr. Trump, President Trump, had it wrong and that there was a terrorist attack and he was making things up. But that is not what happened. And as you just played the soundbite, that is not what happened. But yeah. even in Africa, we were hearing that. Well, I think, I, I, and, and let me just play the other side real quick. I mean, I, I think maybe some people said, because of the way he said it, he said, do you believe this in Sweden? You know, almost as if something really big had happened last night in Sweden. He didn't say, you know, over this, this course of time, they've been seeing these refugees coming in, their crime rates going up. He made it sound like last night something occurred in Sweden. Uh, could that have been part of the problem? Well, it may have been part of the problem, but still, the press's job is to tease out what really happened, what didn't happen. Was the president maybe saying something that uh, he was referring to? Maybe ask the question instead of presenting it as a fait accompli, like I heard in Africa. Yeah, well, I mean, I think, I think what, he, what he said that he was referring to was a, a, actually a Fox News story on, uh, on the issues that the Swedes say they're having... Uh, crime going up and, and the situation we've been hearing about in, in other countries as well that have been But again, crime going yeah. up is very different than having a terrorist attack right. and he never said that. Do you think do you, do you think that there's a, at this point are they just chomping at the bit for anything to make Mr. Trump look like he doesn't know what he's talking about? I do think people are chomping at the bit to make him look like he doesn't know what he's talking about and that is unfair. And again, you know, I'm a liberal wacko democrat, you know, so <laughs> Uh, but you've got to say the news as it is, exactly as it is. That is our responsibility as press, and I think the press is very biased. Self-described liberal wacko Democrat, Ellen Ratner, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank we you. really appreciate you coming on. All right. To hear more media analysis on this week's top headlines, catch Media Buzz with Howard Kurtz on Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern and again 5 p.m. Eastern on Fox News Channel. I'm Rob Schmidt, and thanks for watching. Thank you.